Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler teaching communication systems. In previous videos, we saw what amplitude modulation was, and we made uh, a distinction between amplitude modulation and the double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulation. Uh, from here on, we're mainly going to be considering what we're calling amplitude modulation. In order to further discuss this and the effects of amplitude modulation, let's discuss uh, sideband power, carrier power, and modulation efficiency. So what is the actual efficiency of this amplitude modulation? So the first thing, right, we said that if we were to describe uh, amplitude modulated wave, a, a signal, so if we made a, a time varying signal and we call this phi AM, we could say that it's composed of a carrier wave and sidebands. And so that carrier wave, right, that has some set constant uh, amplitude multiplying the cosine with our carrier frequency, whereas the sidebands right, have the message modulating the uh, cosine wave with our carrier frequency. So one of these contains some new information that we care about, that we want to tell someone about, and the other does not contain any new information. So the sidebands, those are the ones that contain the new information, and that's because it's modulated with our message. It contains the information. The other part, that carrier wave, does not contain the new information, right? That's just there so that we can move our envelope up, right? So that we have an envelope that has the full set of information as the actual message. So in order to think about uh, how much power each one of these has, right, we're going to need to uh, go back to our discussion on power. So recall we said that we could define signal power uh, for some signal, right, that contains new or, or random information. We said that we could write that signal power using these equations. Now, we set it up so that we made it an extension of our understanding of energy, right? So we had first discussed about signal energy, and for the power signal, we dealt with it in, in terms of periods and limits in order to uh, kind of further our, our discussion of the energy signal. So we built up our knowledge of power signals based on energy signals. And then we said too, that power signals are a uh, time average mean of the square of that power signal. So we had a couple different ways to write our power signals. So if we want to determine something about our amplitude modulated signal and its power, uh, we're gonna need to go back to this signal power information. So for the, Cosine at our omega t frequency, the power is going to be equal to one half. Okay, so for these parts right here, these parts of the wave, right, we're going to have power that's equal to one half. So this means that the carrier power is going to be a squared half. So this is the coefficient squared multiplied by this one half. And then for the sideband, we're gonna have the time averaged mean of the message divided by one half where that one half comes from this cosine wave. So now we can see based on our discussion, our carrier wave does not contain new information. Any actual power that we're adding here, we could think of this as being wasted. Whereas the sidebands do contain the new information and any power that we use, so any any power that we use to, to do the sideband work, this is useful power. This is what we're, uh, the purpose of our modulation was for, is to get that message to someone. So we have useful power in the sideband and we have that wasted power in the carrier. Or if not wasted, you it's not quite wasted, but it, it's the power that you don't wanna spend, right? You're, you're just doing the bare minimum to get that envelope up above zero so that we can get across all that information. So you really don't want that carrier power big. Okay, so therefore we can define an efficiency, right? And efficiencies are definitions between the useful power, right? The power you wanna use and the total power. So we had our carrier power, which we, we wanna minimize the use of, and we have the useful sideband power. So we'll define the efficiency, and this is Greek letter eta. We'll define eta, the efficiency, as the useful power divided by the total power. Or in other terms, we can we have the sideband power divided by the sideband power plus the carrier power multiplied by 100%. And furthering it even more for this uh, case, 
right? Uh, we can have the message squared, right? The time average of the message on top, because this is the useful power. The useful power is coming from that message power signal divided by the, um, the time average mean of the message squared plus this A squared, the amplitude of that carrier wave. Okay, so in the next video, we'll discuss a special case of this called tone modulation.